Demographic highlights from the ISSA show. Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleanbiz.com. See, I wanted to share with you, I've got, uh, I've got demograph demographics highlights from the ISSA show. I just wanted to share some numbers with you. Um, uh, you may find these uh, rather interesting, or, or may not. <laughs> but uh, uh, the buyers by target type uh, that attended the show, there was 37% were distributors and wholesalers. 24% were building service contractors. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there was 11% were in-house providers. 5% um, were residential cleaners. And um, the top three product categories interested in, 18% uh, were interested in equipment and accessories. Um, you know, 17% were interested in uh, cleaning tools and supplies and 13% were interested in cleaning agents. So that's really no surprise, you know, because that's the bulk of the, the trade show um, uh, on, on the floor is the equipment and, and uh, products. So, but uh, again, it seems like they're kind of low numbers to me, but anyway, uh, the primary market segments, um, you had uh, distributors, in-house providers, and uh, building service contractors. Top reasons for attending. Uh, they broke this down uh, by distributors. Uh, distributors were seeing, uh, seeing new products and innovations, staying up to date with industry trends, uh, finding new suppliers. Building service contractors. Uh, again, they're uh, there to uh, see new products and innovations, staying up to date with the industry trends and education sessions. So not much really different than the distributors except for the education sessions. Uh, In-house providers. Uh, they attended uh, because of the education sessions, finding new suppliers, uh, meeting with current suppliers. And that's what a lot of times it happens, you know, BSCs uh, or any cleaning uh, business owner, they may meet with their supplier that if they're at the show. Uh, thing is that most of them shows are, are large manufacturers and distributors. So if you're working with a local distributor, chances are they're probably not at the show. But anyway, then the last group you have is the residential cleaners. Uh, they, uh, re the reasons they attended the show was education sessions, finding new suppliers, and meeting with current suppliers. So again, you know, um, maybe your supplier might uh, might have been there, might not have. Uh, it depends on if you were working with one of those big companies. Um, you know, and the, some of them, some of them companies, are, you know, like uh, um, Waxy and um, Hilliard. Uh, you know, Braddy uh, Industries, you know, this, some of these, these are huge, huge companies. Um, Amazon Business was there. Um, then you got your in-house providers. Uh, there's there's uh, quite a few of those people that who attended. Uh, you got uh, Walt Disney, you got Walmart, Walmart stars, uh, stores, uh, then um, Florida State University, Mayo Clinic attended, obviously. You know, uh, so these here, they, these are some very, very large companies that have in-house services where they have thousands and thousands of employees. So, you know, they're coming there to hopefully get educated and make deals on supplies and so on and so forth. Uh, building service contractors, now the, the ones that they've got listed are all big players. And, uh, you know, such as 4M, ABM, Aramark, you know, Citywide Franchise, uh, Janneking International. Um, then, uh, you know, they got uh, uh, SBM uh, Management Services. You know, so these are some very, very large companies, which is interesting because the actual industry may, is made up of companies of doing less than $1 million in revenue, but none of those are listed. Um, exhibition summary. Okay, so there is uh, uh, 652 exhibitors, 19% uh, uh, international exhibitors from 26 countries. And that's one thing I noticed as I, as I attend these shows that we're seeing more and more uh, international uh, distributors showing up uh, a lot of a lot of uh, companies out of China um, then in, uh, the attendee engagement uh, they're saying that uh, four hours uh, four hours average time attendees spent on the trade trade show and that's uh, that's kind of surprising too you know it's a, it's a big trade uh, uh, trade show so I'm surprised that uh, you know people haven't spent more time than that because it takes you takes you a while to go through and the chances are is that maybe the person had uh, already, you know, selected who they wanted to go meet with and or what products to see. Um, 
Uh, two hours average time attendees spent in uh, exhibition booths. So, um, you know, that's interesting. You know, so if uh, an exhibitor was putting on a good, uh, good show, uh, you know, showing how some of their equipment works and so on and so forth, uh, but the average time to spend in an exhibit, exhibitor's booth, uh, two hours seems like an awful long time. There's no way that I'd ever spend two hours standing in a booth listening to a, to a, a, a distributor or a manufacturer. Um, then uh, 122 leads scanned on, on average by exhibitors during the show. Um, that's interesting, you know, because that, that's an average, but that seems, to me that seems kind of low, but anyway, these, these are the numbers that they have. Um, the top 20 product categories searched. Now, because they've got, the, they've got their app, so then people are doing searches. Uh, auto, automatic scrubbers is listed first. Then they've got brushes, cleaning agents, cleaning chemicals and private label, uh, cleaning tools and supplies, cloths and microfiber. Um, <clears throat> All the regular stuff, you know, that's all the regular stuff that you always see all the time. Uh, towards the bottom of the list, you have uh, restroom care and services and robotic cleaning uh, equipment, um, services and technology, steam cleaning equipment. But, uh, you know, that's about all they have on, uh, on that information. So, you know, it's rather interesting that uh, when you look at the, the top reasons why people attended the show, uh, you know, it's quite obvious the distributors, the tr distributors are there to sell product. Um, you know, so, uh, and, and yeah, they're, they're probably there to hook up with some manufacturers to hopefully get better pricing and a new, a new line of supplies if they have a line that's not working well for them or they're not producing or selling a lot. Uh, building service contractors, um, yeah, you know, to see uh, new products and innovations. Um, but, you know, the, the one thing that I found out is that the uh, there's not a whole lot of new stuff that comes out as far as products and innovation because I've gone into that 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 small area where they have all the product innovation and you know maybe there's 20 or 30 products maybe uh, but they're typically from all of the same companies year after year and uh, they've some in some cases uh, it uh, seems to be the the same product that they, they submitted last year um, so, you know, in some cases, I think that uh, it's just uh, for them, because people vote on those. You know, as you go through, you can vote on the different products and innovations. And I think they're just looking for that, that you know, that number one prize so they can put that in their marketing, uh, in their marketing um, materials. As far as building service contractors, staying up to date with the industry trends. Um, you know, um, you, you do find some things, but again, like I say, a whole lot doesn't really change. The, the biggest thing, the biggest change in the cleaning industry is the, the, the technology uh, as far as apps and software and things like that there. Uh, equipment hasn't changed a whole lot. Uh, education sessions, uh, then my experience at the education sessions, uh, you know, the, the, there's some good ones, there's some bad ones, you know, and you, you have that all the time anyway, you know, to where some of the presenters you know, the, the presenters aren't very good, the subjects aren't very good, but, uh, you know, that's, uh, th they're getting better, but uh, they still still got a ways to go. Uh, for the in-house service providers, you know, again, they're going there for education sessions and uh, finding new suppliers and meeting with current suppliers. And like I said earlier, you know, some of those in-house providers are some very large companies. Um, so, you know, then you have the, the residential cleaners, uh, and again, the education sessions and, uh, you know, there, uh, they typically will have some pretty good uh, uh, subjects uh, for education sessions. Um, the thing there is that it seems like it's always the same people, though. Um, so um, that's the only downside, I think, to that. Uh, and then, again, finding new suppliers and meeting the current suppliers. Uh, again, you know, most residential cleaning companies are working with uh, probably a local company or buying their products online. Uh, they're not, chances are, I'd, I'd put, uh, I'd bet a dollar on it that none of their suppliers are at this actual ISSA show. But um, anyway, unless they are buying from some of the big ones, you know, that can afford to, to, to bring in and set up their displays, uh, because it's very expensive. Uh, we have done that in the past, and uh, geez, this was years ago, and it cost us over $10,000. So it's quite expensive for somebody to set up a display, uh, you know, and have a booth. 
so that you have to make sure that it pays off but anyway those are the numbers I got um, hopefully the, this gives you some insight uh, you know I found it rather interesting um, you know I think uh, we're, we're probably seeing I'm, I'd be curious to know um, year after year you know so from let's say uh, from 2000 to uh, 20 or, or uh, 2000 to 2020 I'd like to see what the trend is as far as the attendees what's the amount of attendees per year um, I'd have to believe that it's, it, it, would, it has to be dropping uh, would be my guess uh, there's just too much stuff online uh, uh, there's there's so much information and uh, you people can get access all this just online just by staying at home and clicking on their keyboard um, you know and I, I have to believe that the attendance would have to be declining because just because of that factor you know people can get uh, any any information they want online you know they can find out about the innovations and everything like that online rather than uh, rather than spending you know thousands of dollars to to go to a destination uh, uh, to a convention uh, uh, to a convention uh, you know in, in most cases I think some people are just doing that just to get away have a little uh, working vacation you know and that's fine but uh, for people that uh, you know that are kind of on the fence if they're not sure if they should go to a convention or not well you know those are some of the things to consider you got you got to consider why you're going uh, you know and obviously the I gave you some reasons why people attend um, you know but a lot of these here uh, again I think it's just uh, uh, things that you can get online already you know uh, and you're seeing, seeing seeing so much of that you know just like us you know with the the um, the janitorial store.com and my house clean biz.com we've got a wealth of information online for any uh, cleaning business owner if they want to learn how to build a successful cleaning company and take it to the next level uh, we have all the information there you know if they're looking for educational sessions we have probably one of the best uh, learning management systems uh, in the industry uh, we we actually have a couple of them and when a person becomes a member of the janitorial store or my house cleaning biz a uh, premium member, they can get access to uh, Clean Smart University, which is one of our LMSs, and you'll find those right on the site. And what we did is we decided to go ahead and and build that to where all of our cleaning videos and cleaning training videos would be right on right on the site. We also have they also would get access to uh, CSU Business Library, which that takes them off site, that's off campus, and they have access to over 8,000 training videos. And you know, for anybody that wants to uh, offer personal development, you know, to their employees, um, that is that's a wealth of information there. You know, if you have somebody that's interested in, in learning something other than what they're currently doing, uh, you know, uh, we just have a wealth of information <coughs> uh, that they that they'll find there <coughs> on various subjects uh, such as HR, leadership, sales, uh, marketing. Uh, it, it just it goes on and on like I say there's over 8,000 training videos there so um, with uh, with that being said you know that's that's where I can see where uh, uh, some of these uh, associations are, are going to find it challenging in the years to come because I think the numbers the attendance numbers are going to continue to drop just because of that reason everything's online uh, it's just way too convenient for people to get information um, you know, the only way I can see it probably being sustainable is if people want to, like I say, take that working vacation uh, just to attend a, a, an association. Uh, but I think uh, I think more and more people are probably thinking that they could spend their dollars more wisely elsewhere. Um, you know, that's just just what I'm thinking. I, I don't know if that if that's the truth or what if that's going to happen or not, but time will tell. Time will certainly tell. Like I say, the, the, the proof would be that if we were to look at some numbers from 2000 to 2020, you know, what, what the, the attendance of the associations, where, where that's at, you know, has it, has it increased each year or has it uh, gone up, come down, and, and, is it, and is it heading on the downslope now? Um, but anyway, uh, that's all I got. Uh, hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, you know, some pretty good numbers. It kind of gives you a, an idea of where the industry's at. Um, but uh, hopefully you found it great uh, if you did go ahead and uh, you know click on the like and hey put some comments down below too I uh, would love that so we'll talk to you later